Hello YouTube. Went to the farm store. Uh, was in the city. They got a little better selection than the one closer to me. Uh, it's called Bombgars. B-O-M-G-A-A-R-S. Just like a farm type store. And I picked up some lathing material. This is too big for my little machine, but this is a 7 inch long bolt, 3 quarters. Here's a 6 inch bolt, half inch diameter shank. Uh, 5 8 shank. About a five inch long bolt, another half inch, five inch long, a couple four inch three eighths. Okay. Uh, these are like three forty nine a pound, come like six dollars or something, it's close to two pounds of bolts here. They do have the cheaper grade two smaller bolts, like quarter inch and stuff you get for buck ninety nine a pound, which is a pretty good deal. So the time you cut these out, you get about five inches of material out of here, and you'll get a good four inches at least out of these like this, get about four inches of material uh, to work with. Like here you get three, three, you're going to get a four inch of material here, here you'll get about four and a half inches of material. These little three eighths bolts will give you a piece of about, not quite two inches to work with out of these little three eighths ones. So, just some material, grade five, I think I said that, grade five bolts. Uh, the grade 2 bolts are on sale for $1.99, but they're the smaller ones. They would be like your 5 16 quarter inch bolts, all your little stuff. But I thought I'd make a little video of that. Uh, if you don't want to order any material online, you don't have a salvage yard, you never know what you're getting for steel. Uh, I made a little plumb bob out of one of these bolts. That's the same bolt I made my little plumb bob out of. 3-8 zinc plated bolt. Uh, easy to do with a sharp bit. I don't know what type of steel it is. Really can't tell you. Maybe somebody could tell me what type of steel it is. It was supposed to be a grade five. I'm sure they are. Three marks means grade five. And some of these have different markings on. See, this has no lines on it. Probably won't show up on the camera. This has three lines. Company is JH, whatever it is. And this says like F8. But even though it's too big for my little machine, I'll make something out of this bolt, a pin or something someday. But I just take my four and a half inch grinder, I'll cut the head off real close, I'll cut the threads off, and then I'll take it and make it even around here. So when I lay it and face off the end, I'm not doing a whole lot of work, nothing to gouge on. So I'll get it as straight as I can with the four and a half inch grinder. So when I start working, it'll be pretty level. You're not coming on something that's hacksaw cricket or whatever. But if you have a bandsaw, that'd be great. You could saw these off. You have a lot of nice metal. And when you're not using it, laying around, they're zinc plated. They're not going to rust. And I did see uh, something on YouTube, how to zinc plate metal. So you can make something again and zinc plate it again with electrolysis. It's pretty simple to do. But... Thought I'd make a short little video there, just showing some cheap material you can grab at the store if you don't want to order something or go scrounge around for some metal. So, I think that about covers it. And thanks for watching.